Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Game of Thrones. We're uh, heading off to the wall apparently. So um, we'll see what happens there. Okay, this isn't the wall. <laughs> Okay, Ethan Forrester. I couldn't find him. Could you? He hides too well. And if he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. I'm over here. He's oh, just okay, it's Ethan now. Game. I'm here. It's okay. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gareth. He was nice. Gareth is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Gareth did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. Sir Royland forgets himself. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, <laughs> you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword, like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Great fighting. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training. We never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities. I okay, promise. that's promise we're not going to change. change. Good, because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. I'll have to have both, I'm afraid. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. Yeah, it's not really how it's it works. Not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the Lord. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. We've been summoned. <laughs> What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced. And certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's okay, your decision. Go. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command we'll Ethan to stay with his family. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well, then. Okay. 
Looks like we've got to go and uh, speak to the leader of the White Hills. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? A business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough okay. as it is. What do I say to what him? What should I say to him? Tell him and his men to leave. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. I'm thinking maybe we side with the uncle. He's less rash. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me. Or We're going to thank him. We're not going to shake his hand or ignore it. Thank you, Lord Whitehill. Put your damn hand down. <laughs> Fucking spit on well, my shoes. The is, I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The he died a hero. Finally, get there, you. My father died a hero, fighting for the North against traitors and oathbreakers. Aye, and look where that got him. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesy. This guy's a prick. I should have expected as much. Fetch we'll Lord Whitehill some, bread and, some bread and salt. It was an oversight, Lord Whitehill. I promise it won't happen again. Not likely. You foresters have shit on us for generations. This guy's a well, fucking now dick. Well, the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. <laughs> Alright, jeez. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. Lord Whitehill, please. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Yeah, spit it out. Oh, it's fucking Bolkart. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. Garrett he was, was only defending himself. himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He's he been sent. Your name. And you are the. Lord he did as any man would. House. He was defending his family as any man would. But your men murdered them all. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? He was sent to the he wall. Was sent to the wall. Who the fuck sent him to the wall? Answer me. Who's the one who did it? I, I did. did. What? That was my justice to deliver, boy. And you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now Fuck bring off. me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Yeah, something you wouldn't know about. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this, this is not over. It's Fuck over off. when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. Bye-bye. That lad 
may be lord of this house. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Whatever. Fuck off. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. This guy is a prick. And you fuck off, bowl cut. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Okay. We're sending a raven. Now what happens? Are we going to the wall? No, we're going to King's Landing. Sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favour. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the King may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Right. So maybe we can use the sister to get these guys on side. Let's have a look in here. What do we have here? There's a high garden brooch. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. And there's the ironwood tree. Ethan made this for me. It's quite good, actually. Asha sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Okay, there's an unfinished letter. Let's read it. Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. And now he's dead, of course. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. I wonder if she knows that he's dead by now. I guess we'll find out shortly. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. What else do we have? There's a, a window to look out. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. It's a letter from our mother. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and oh, can so be we a do powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Come in. Wonder who it is. One moment. Okay, jeez. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come Who's back this? later if you'd like. Uh, let him in. No, it's fine. Come in. The fuck is this? Oh, he's a cleaner. Oh, no, he's not a cleaner. What's he putting Begging down? Your pardon, milady, but. Is it cold? All right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong. But it seems like you do. Uh, I'm a handmaiden. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. 
You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. Um, I couldn't hear why much. are you telling me this? Why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and... House Forrester? I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Yeah, I can imagine. Good night, my Cheers for the coal. Assuming that was coal. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. Okay, what are we discussing? Probably what she was talking to Cersei about, right? From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. You're very, very kind. kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North, whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least... What, we're afford. getting fired, are we? Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Uh, why would she do that? What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot um, afford any conflict with Cersei with what the would I say? so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Okay, I think we're going to do this. We're going to do what See she says, because then ready to maybe she'll back us up. Once she becomes queen. So we'll just have to tell her what she wants to hear. Sup? You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Alright, consider it done. Good luck. Cheers. I don't need luck, though. I'm just gonna lie constantly and tell her what she wants to hear. You can do this. Oh, we actually have to walk. There's not many people here, are there? I thought there might be like a full house for this. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you no, looking Tyrion. lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission. Allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Uh, let's uh, kneel before her. Your Grace. The yes, the Queen is pleased. Good. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the King. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. 
He's not here, is he? Uh, we serve she the king. Is. Joffrey is the one true king, your grace. Hmm. And yet. For centuries, the foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Um. I agree. Yes, your grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. Oh, I take fuck. it this is the kind of loyalty the king can expect from you. If you have any loyalty at all. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Uh, yes. yes Absolutely. Grace. Absolutely. I see. Despite the fact Roose Bolton allied with Walder Frey, if it was me, I'd find it difficult to so quickly forgive the men who killed my father. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester yes, you ironwood can. does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Uh, yes. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. What would you have the girl do, This sir? may be a mistake, but we're doing what we were told to do. Wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Tyrion. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those what who the hell have been on the side of On the food? subtitles there. Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? Um, I won't judge her. I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts? Too true, too true. You are a girl from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? You'd have to I'm sure uh, let the would... girl answer the question. Uh, be true to the king. Be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. <laughs> this My sense is this much. girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. Just doing what I was told. <laughs> I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. I'll walk you out. Okay. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. He's uh, thank you, Lord Tyrion. Your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage, to so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. Well, that was the plan. It was quite the first impression. I did it for Lady Marjorie. Hmm, rather odd, if that's what she asked of you. But I'm sure she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I 
have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We <laughs> must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It oh, may be shit. too dangerous. <laughs> Let's see what Tyrion were doing it. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? We're gonna risk it. I'll consider it. Now, Fuck it, why not? Me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. Thank you Thanks for the for advice, advice. Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. I shall remember that. Okay then, that's where we're going to leave it guys. We'll see how the story continues in the next one. So as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click that like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you all next time for more Game of Thrones.